Hey, Jimmy from Cuff and Stuff. Well, let me tell you, today we got another good one for you. I have gotten so many comments. I don't have a smoker. I don't have this. I don't have that. Oh, my goodness. Come on, guys. Look, if you've got a propane grill, $20 from Amazon, that's all you need. Buy you a smoke tube, put pellets in it. I love hickory and apple pellets. It'll do almost anything, okay? So this is a family favorite. This is meatloaf, smoked barbecue meatloaf. Oh my goodness, it is so good. I did it on propane. I did it with smoke tube. I didn't have a big smoker that I used. I used a propane grill. You can too. So, hang tight. Well, all right, here we go. But what I've got is, this is about two and a quarter pounds. Two pounds is really all I need, but Okay, I can use that too. I'm just going to dump the whole thing in this bowl here. And you know what I'm going to use, right? I know you know. This is Uncle Steve's shake. This is competition cow powder. I'm going to take and I'm just going to sprinkle a nice healthy dose over the top of this. Now this is gonna mix into all of this meat. So I'm gonna, as you see, go fairly heavy. Also into that, I'm gonna put a little bit of, this is just minced garlic, I'm gonna put uh, that's about three, maybe, three cloves worth ground up. I'm also going to use some minced onion. Let's put, oh, let's see, one. Two, about three tablespoons, maybe a little more. <laughs> All right, next I've got, I've already prepared, this is chopped up celery. This is one stalk that I have already gone ahead and chopped up. And for a little flavor and color, this is a red bell pepper. Let's put him in there. Mm. I can smell the smell. Mm. All right. So let's take and mix him up. And I don't really want to make mush out of this hamburger meat. I just want to get this mixed up nice and pretty all through it so as you see i'm taking taking my hand and giving it a twist as i go down with my fingers and running it through my fingers all right next i need about eight ounces um now you can use already prepared um breadcrumbs i did these these were actually leftover hamburger buns let's take them in and mix them in with it this is going to help bind it together i want to get it mixed in there fairly good too
All right, while I'm at it, let's add, this is Lee and Perrin's W sauce, Worcestershire sauce. Come on guys, let's see it. <laughs> That's a good two tablespoons, I'd say, at least. Let's put him in there. Now, at this point, Grandma, when she was making meatloaf, she used to take and make meatloaf in two pounds of hamburger meat. An egg would go in this, probably two eggs. I'm not going to do that today. I don't need it. This is 80-20, so I'm going to take and I'm going to divide this in half, okay? This is pound and an eighth. If that was two and a quarter, divided in half, that's pound and an eighth. All right, let's let this hang out for a little bit, and then I'm going to come back and show you a little trick. Okay. Well, you see, I've got these two loaf pans. I'm going to take each little half, and I'm going to put it down in this loaf pan, and I'm going to spread it out. Now, I'm not really mashing it out too firm. I'm just making two, hopefully, equal size. Mm. Boy, does it smell good. Okay. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take these and I'm going to put them in the refrigerator. And while I'm getting my fire up to temperature and whatnot, I'm going to let these chill off and let all those flavors mix. And when I get my fire ready, I'll bring it back. Okay, well, we let our pans sit in the refrigerator about half an hour. So let's just turn them over now. I've taken a cooling rack, a baker's rack, a thousand other names. I have covered in aluminum foil. I'm gonna take and take this out and then just pull the wrap off the meat. Now, I'm gonna cook them on that rack right there. So, look at that, isn't that pretty? Made two pretty loaves. All right, one last thing before it goes to the fire. I'm gonna use original Uncle Steve shake. It's still hard as many different shakes as Uncle Steve has come out with, it's still hard to beat the original. And that's what we're gonna use on this barbecue meatloaf. All right, I've got pretty good cover over the top. Let's let that sit and hang out for a minute and then I'm gonna take it to the fire. And when I do, I'll bring you back. Okay, well, I got my grill up to temp. I got it lit. That's my smoke tube. I'm gonna let her just smoke away. <coughs> and that's exactly what she's doing. I only have one burner on. I'm going for 250. If it gets a little over that, that's fine. Let's close it back up get that smoke going in there. I have that smoke tube right over the top of the heat that's going in. I hope you can see the smoke that's coming out. I can't smoke, I just have a propane grill. Well, there you go. <laughs> All right, we're gonna let this thing smoke. I'm gonna put a probe in there to keep up with my temperature in my smoker to see how I do with it. It's actually a challenge to keep it down that low. 
I am also going to put one in the meat. I want to know when that meat gets to about 160. So as we proceed, we'll bring you back. All right. Well, an hour in. Let's see what we got. But 118. 124 that's a little closer to the heat over there smoke tube still smoking all right well we're gonna let it keep cooking and we'll bring you back okay we're two hours in see where we are oh that smells good all right well Tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna take barbecue sauce. Now this is our favorite. You use whatever you want. Whatever your favorite is, you have at it. And we're gonna Squeeze this out over it. We're going to take the brush. And brush this. Over it. Now we're not done. This is showing about 150 on this one. But we've got the probe in. I want to go to 160. But I'm going to go ahead and put this barbecue sauce on. Not only am I going to let it set, but I'm going to let it cook into it. All right. I'm taking. Close this back up. Oh, that smells good. And we're going to let it keep going. And we'll bring you back. Okay, well, we're two and a half hours in. This says that we're ready at our temperature. We're trying to go to 160. And there we are. That's 161. 161. All right. So we're there. Okay, well, we've let this rest for a few minutes. Let's take it off. Let's go with this one. Closest one to us. Mm. Cut it in half. Look at this. If you want to make sandwiches out of it, if you want to serve it into just pieces, oh my goodness, look at this. There you go. Okay, well. There it is, <laughs> right there. Only one thing left to do, let's go ahead and try it. Mm. Meatloaf is not my thing, but this is so good. I'm going back. Well, there it is. You want good meatloaf, you want to smoke it, you want to do it on a propane grill, there it is. Thanks for sticking around. See how it turns out. As always, I'll have a circle on this side. Hit it, subscribe if you haven't already. On this side, 
I'll have another video. Until next time, hang tight.